Hello everyone, Another Clouds here, and today guys I'm going to review uh, a bicycle creation made by my friend Shadow, so all credits goes to him, I did not make this creation, and uh, well, Shadow did, so well, all credits goes to him for this creation, and so while well, talking about uh, this mug, let's review it right now, so first, the body frame, which is made with, which is quite simple in fact, but also quite clever, because it's made with two a uh, vacuum pelvis part, so as you can see you got one vacuum pelvis part right there, which is linked to another one, thanks to, as you can see, two axles, so it's quite simple, but it holds very well, and also it allows you to have four ball joints, two for the arms, one for the head, and one for the rest of the body. Then uh, we, you can also notice with the fact that we have put an hose pipe in this uh, pin hole right there, it's going to be quite useful later on, and also we're going to finish this body by putting another uh, one, excuse me, Mactoan arm right there on this axle, well, on this pin, excuse me, guys. So like that, also you can notice the connector which will be used for the head later on. But for now, I'm going to talk about the arms, or at least well, how the arms are made. So it's quite simple. You have to take one small double connector, as you can see right there, put a pin inside the pin hole, and as you can see, metal arm and Titan connector. Then I'm going to use this type of parts right here with some blue parts which are one side axle, the other side is a pin. Uh, then I'm going to take this Inica shoulder armor, take this type of part as you can see, so it's uh, I think it's called a Ninua Ghost. It was released in 2008 as part of the Mystica wave, so the second wave of the year. I'm going to put this part in this pin hole, as you can see, and now I have two pin, two pin holes right there, so I just have to do that, and the arm is near completion, now I just have to put like this part and use it as an end, as an end, excuse me, as an end. Now I put the connector in the ball joint, like that, and I'm going to do the uh, bottom part of the body, so first another vacuum like pelvis, connector, and then the arms. So they are made with a double long connector with these two parts linked on, as you can see, so thanks to an axle and thanks to a pin. And I'm going now to, uh, well, link the rest of the leg, which is made with this part, so Piraka arms and another connector, Titan connector, and once again some Ninua uh, Ghost. Just have to use the pin right there to link my legs, and to make it really stand, st well, stand uh, in a strong way, I'm going to use this part, so an axle of three plus a stud at the end, and let slide the stud, well, the, yes, the axle all of, uh, inside, well, the double connector, and inside or at least through, not inside, but through the double long connector and the Piwaka leg. Now I link this part to the ball joint, take my hose pipe, link it in this connector, and finally use this Sinica's head as the mock head. And here we go. So as you can see, of course, because of his leg, he can be posed on the ground, he, will, he, will, uh, he won't stand still. So I'm just going to talk about the articulation, and then I will show you how to pose him in a nice way. So, uh, well, first the shoulders, well, it's quite, as you can see, well, hard to turn them because of the parts. But you can still do it, but it's really hard. And on the sides, well, you can't really move them on the sides. Then you have the uh, elbows, which can be moved on the sides like that. So not really the normal way, because you can't really move them up and down once again, because you use uh, this type of part, like that. And then you also have the arms, which uh, will can, can be moved freely. Freely, excuse me, guys. Then you have the head, which once again can be moved down, up, and on the sides without any big problems. Uh, you also have the connector right there. Uh, as you can see, which uh, on the pelvis part, which can be uh, used used to move the body the way you want, so it can, can be quite useful if you want to make some dynamic pose. And then uh, you have the legs, which once again are quite free, and the shoulder, the knees, excuse me, guys, 
which can be moved a little more than 90 degrees, but not that much. And then while two pose here, we're going to use a stand. So how to make a stand in vertical parts? Well, it's quite useful. Once again, this design was made by Shadow, so you just have to use Technic beams like that and a um, Titan piston part, as you can see, which can be moved up and down, and this type of parts to put this Technic beams. So as you can see, Technic beams on the two sides, in between them, uh, the piston part mounted on a ball joint and linked thanks to this part on a connector, excuse me, and mounted on this part. Then in between the Technic beam and other Technic beams right there, and this type of part to link the final one, which will be used to put the character. And of course, how to link the character to the stand depends on uh, the point of connection available on the character itself. So for example, here I have two pin holes, so it's the easiest way to link the character, the mock, excuse me, to the stand. And that said, I think we are done for this mod, guys. I'm going to do a little pause uh, quickly. And here we go. Should be fine. Yes, more like that. So, uh, I think that's all for this mod, guys. So, well, now it's up to you. Feel free to comment, uh, post your questions, and stuff like that. I will happily answer them. But, well, just a last reminder re uh, remember that this mod was not made by me, but by my friend Shadow. So, that's all you need to know. And also, uh, Brickshelf Gallery might uh, be uh, put in the disc video description later on. So, if you want more pictures of this mod, you can click on this link and, uh, well, find out more about this mod. And I think that's quite all, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, feel free to comment or post questions and stuff like that. I will happily answer them. And that said, well, see you later for another video with you. Bye bye.